Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Lewis. Today we're, go we're going to have some fun with um, the old times of exploring Tristan. <laughs> so we have this quest here, the search for Cain, that I will replay now the quest dialogue. It is clear that we are facing an evil difficult to comprehend, let alone combat. There is only one Haradrim sage, schooled in the most arcane history and lore, who could advise us. His name is Deckard Cain. You must go to Tristram and find him, my friend. I pray that he still lives. Well, Deckard Cain, um, he, he originates from way before Diablo 2, from the previous game, original Diablo 1 game. And on, on Diablo 1, he assists you as, as a very important person on the town of Tristram. Or you can, uh, for cost, identify items, but he also gives you a lot of information and eventually quests in the game. Um, as we arrive here to Diablo 2, to the rogue encampment, uh, we come across the third quest that is given by, by Akara here. So you would just uh, re replay also here, or after finishing uh, Blood Raven's quest and the Den of Evil, so it's a sequence you will get this third quest. She tells you to, to go initially to um, the Darkwood, which is a, a, a part of the map after 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 you arrive to, to Sunnyfield you will you'll find a tunnel, some tunnels, some underground passages to get to Darkwood. In Darkwood you will find this tree, the tree of Anifus. And it will uh, let go of um, of a scroll. Of course, I already did um, this this quest, this part of the quest in full, so we wouldn't have to repeat all of it, all of this. And upon retrieving this scroll and taking it back to Akara, she will read the inscriptions and then she will uh, in inscribe her, her instructions. And the instructions are to click on these stones at the stony field. Um, in the in the specific order, so we would go now to Stony Field, and now we need to locate uh, these stones. The, the name of the stones evades my memory for now, <laughs> but we can check here. The Cairn Stones. So we're gonna look for the Cairn Stones. Uh, remember, it's in the Stony Field, so just look around for the big structures. Here they are. Okay, and these are the Stony. The cairn, the cairn stones in the stony field. They are always guarded by Rakanshi, which I will now proceed to find. Hopefully, without getting killed. And the threat is resolved. I already touched the stone by accident, that's not part of the plan, but anyways. <laughs> Time to also do some, some proper healing here. And at least I guess. Nah, we should go back herself. So we, we go in the scroll here, and it tells us we need to click first. Oh, by the way, might as well just show this in bigger detail. The stuns are humming, the first one, and also how it used to look like on the original Diablo 2 version even with the expansion. So the expansion <laughs> I think only increased the resolution to 800 by 600 pixels from 640 by 4080 pixels I think and of course now the detail is so <laughs> so much more rich it's really awesome to see this as as the uh, close to what the developers, the designers, the artists, the product manager, etc., were envisioning this to be, but of course they couldn't realize it the way they 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 had imagined this back then, due to technical limitations. So we need to proceed and click the stones in the right order. This would be the first. Then we need to go for the second stone. So the second. So number two, and then a drop of water. Number two, here. And then a drop of water. 
right. And then we would click on the O and then the inverted drop of water. There we go. Oh, beautiful. First time reaction. Chilling. <laughs> oh, let me put my, my face here because it's just... Chilling. Chilling. Let's go back now to <laughs> no face. So, now we need to find and rescue Kane. We go in. It's as if, it's as if a great war were fought here. It was indeed. <laughs> yes, it explodes. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it still explodes. All right, all right. So, I'm not really sure what kind of gear I would using here I guess for now I can just switch to the, to the bow and arrow so I just have some stuff that I picked up along the way uh, really nothing nothing that great and my set of skills so we have we have jab we have iron sight uh, to, to reduce their defense the enemy's defense we have the cold arrow and multiple shot and the magic arrow and they are all level one I have some skill um, choices remaining to use I opted not to spend anything for now and while I still plan what to do with this character so all of those are level 1 and I'm resorting to use the magic arrow for now um, of course we oops, of course we we can check now I wish that would st stick there check which option would be better so 18 to 7 8 to 17 it of course reduces the damage and then we have uh, 6 to 14 magic arrow uses magic damage typically not not uh, resisted so we'll stick with that um, I don't think we will need the cold arrow but anyways because we have uh, I believe our Mercenary has the cold hour. Cast cold hour. <laughs> Arrow! <laughs> oh, wait. Yes, she has. So, let's proceed. And when I see that when we're getting overwhelmed, I'll stick I'll switch to the. the siblings. I need mana. So one trick you can use the uh, shift key, shift key to keep firing without uh, sniping the target. So to prevent what happened there, uh, I misclick the, the, the target, and, and as a result, I miss them and they got. So seems like we didn't start that that well, but. Okay. Uh, our mana is slowly regaining the... Oh! We have Grizzle already here. I'm gonna... Oh man, you already put him, <laughs> put him blue and green. I want to see... Ah! There we go, the right original colors. So, enough watching. I can't carry anymore. And now let's go. Kill the bad bastard. He's highly... Um, resistant to physical damage, at least. Has a lot of armor. So, for those who don't know, Griswold used to be the blacksmith on Diablo 1. And that's the guy who sold you most of your equipment and also repaired your, your equipment. And yeah, he had a story and sadly he got killed and transformed. <laughs> or possessed and transformed. <laughs> Actually, I don't know exactly, and that's sad, but uh, that's the game. It's the story of the game. So now I'm gonna just get rid of this stuff. And get the money from this. Oh, this could be useful. So I'm 
gonna keep the potion. I actually might buy a potion or two. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Oh, I also have these, I forgot. <laughs> but yeah, I'll go I think I'm gonna need a few. <laughs> and we drop these here for some other. Yes, we can also drop this stuff here for another uh, another uh, character or two. We got the stuff. Let's proceed at, at this. Use this stuff properly. At this uh, stage, I will probably resort to using now the magic arrow. Multiple sh I, sorry, multiple shot. Although it doesn't shoot many arrows. Yeah. Try to get more kills at the same time. Good tactic, as I'm doing. Uh, just circle around the town and clear uh, everything you can, and then eventually you will you will have to go in <laughs> in the town. But you will have a safe safe path to go around to retreat. And if you are using a ranged attack, either by magic or, or arrows or javelins or other stuff like throwing knives. You can um, outrun your opponents, and there we have the we have the champion skeletons that that appear traditional here, and they are a bit more tough, so we need to, to try and stay away from them uh, as a ranged attack user. So. There's also this guy here. Really no more slaying anyone. I am overburdened. Suppose I could. Ah, nice, nice. But this is more for um, magic users, so I'll keep for another character. Suppose there's more interesting stuff there. Mm, I think we can go in now and draw them Help. out. Seems like I've um, overestimated the threat. They are just very easy to deal with at my current development. Alright. We're down to just loot. I didn't use to I didn't need to use any uh, any mana potions at all. Um, you will find typically here a lot of gold at least for uh, depending on your character pro progression and the difficulty level so you just go around and loot everything you can because you will typically find a lot of gold Help! And, and when you're done looting and killing you will just go here and give it to release him from the from this stream Deckard Kane go to the rogues camp without and he, delay and he goes <laughs> <laughs> there he goes, doesn't leave the portal open for us, that bastard. <laughs> I always did that. Now we go back. We go back, we go over to, to him and he gives us... As a token of my gratitude, uh, I will identify are. items for you at no charge. By identifying items without any cost. Regrettably, I could do nothing to prevent the disaster which devastated Tristram. It would appear that our greatest fears have come to pass. Diablo, the Lord of Terror, has once again been set loose upon the world. As you know, some time ago Diablo was slain beneath Tristram, and when our hero emerged triumphant from the labyrinth beneath town, we held a grand celebration that lasted several days. Yet, as the weeks all passed, got drunk. <laughs> our hero became <laughs> increasingly a aloof. He kept his distance from the rest of the townsfolk and seemed to lapse into a dark, brooding depression. I thought that perhaps his ordeal had been so disturbing that he simply could not put it out of his mind. The hero seemed more tormented every passing day. I remember he awoke many times, screaming in the night, always something about the East. 
One day, he simply left. And shortly thereafter, Tristram was attacked by legions of foul demons. Many were slain, and the demons left me to die in that cursed cage. I believe now that Tristram's hero was that dark wanderer who passed this way before the monastery fell. And there you go. I fear even worse, my friend. I fear that Diablo has taken possession of the hero who sought to slay him. If true, Diablo will become more powerful than ever before. You must stop him, or all will be lost. And that's all of it. And you can now identify items free of charge. The quest um, is not marked done yet because we still need to go over here for another reward. You have risked your life and to rescue you, Cain. Um, for that we thank you. A ring, but maybe also an amulet. It's, it's just random, so you just need to... Unlike me, make sure you have <laughs> some, uh, some inventory space. Suppose you don't need any of this stuff. Except this ring and this one here. Well, to finish, I uh, will just um, just go over uh, if we have finished the quest, if we have additional quests afterwards. I'll just move back to Tristan and explore this in the um, in the contrast. The old uh, it's mostly derived of what uh, Tristan used to be uh, on the original Diablo One game. So this path would lead to the um, to the church and the, the graveyard. There was also some cows that's linked to the the story of the um, of the um, the cow level and and secret cow level in Diablo Two and I believe the secret cow level in Diablo One Hellfire unofficial expansion something like that. I don't recall exactly. And so yeah, we have here the detail. This was mostly like this on, on old Diablo 1. We switch back to the new one and we see in detail some, some blood there in the fountain. Fire is, is nice, it's pretty. This used to be... Um, so I'm gonna now give a little detail here. This used to be um, one supporting character. It was, it was an inn. There was a, a guy here. Uh, I think his girlfriend used to live here. I don't recall the names now. And Deckard Cain used to be used to be here in the well, I believe. And here was Pepin the healer. So he used to heal you and you could identify items here with so you could buy health potions and I think rejuvenation potions with, with Pepin. You he, he used to be in a in a white cape, like a like a would say like a, a church healer something like that but he was more on the scientific side <laughs> and also very thankful to God but on the scientific side and Deckard Cain was here always uh, you know showing showing his his uh, knowledge and uh, identifying items for you at the cost Griswold the blacksmith was here and you will sell and repair items the inn the inn guy was there and you do anything just give out um, quests and information and then uh, we had the drunkard I don't recall the his name he used to be around here I, I would say here not not at the door but, but maybe here in the door and then if you would go if you would go around here there was a passage I believe this bridge would take you to this other side of the river where there was a house a hut and some cauldrons and stuff, and that's where you would find Adria the witch. And the last character, so I think I'm not missing anyone, would be around here. Here. Not, well, not exactly here, you would cross another passage here, there was some rocks, and then there was eventually a cave there that would lead you to um, the, cave, the cave levels uh, just before hell on Diablo 1 and Wirt the boy the little boy was was there selling stuff at uh, high prices the is comparison I will show you 
what's that guy on on Act One Rogue Encampment? But there's other guys like him uh, across all the acts of, uh, or most of the acts of Diablo 2. And you, when you click this guy here, he will drop all the gold that he was uh, ripping you off with, with his uh, items that he was selling. And also, word slag. Word slag is very important. I will touch that really, really slightly today. Word slag. Uh, which used to look different. And we can check that maybe. Yeah, like that. Word slag. Oh, I can also maybe see Ford's body <laughs> as it used to be. Um, Ford's leg is used for a number of things. The more important thing uh, to open the portal to um, to the secret level. So you you would need um, a town portal, Tom, Ward's leg, um, the Aradri cube, and think nothing else well that's it uh, we are done with Tristan and uh, I hope you enjoyed this I, I sure did <laughs> seeing this come to life at a new definition that, that's the other king Kingston that you never touch and um, I'll see you around and leave your, your comments and subscribe and put a like if you like and that's important to me and <laughs> I hope to, to create more content for you in the future so stay around and as Kane says stay around and listen <laughs> bye bye thank you all